Hello YouTubers, this must be one of my most quickest, um, most efficient projects ever, which is a good thing, I'm all for saving time. This is obviously an old Anglepoise lamp. We were going to give it to a charity shop, but then I thought um, I might be able to use it in some way to hold my camera. I sometimes have um, my camera held up on a tripod to get some overhead views of items I might have here on the workbench, um, but the tripod only goes so high and it itself gets in the way. Um, so I need something really to hold a camera somewhere here facing directly down and um, I was wondering if this could do it. And the answer is a surprisingly easy yes. I removed the electric cabling, which uh, I don't need, took off the uh, lampshade assembly here. Um, I was prepared to have a camera um, attached to this via zip ties. Um, I've got a few cameras and I was prepared to have one more or less permanently attached to this um, and not bother trying to remove it or anything. Um, but a bit of good luck. Um, this is the camera I've been using for some of the recent YouTube videos. A uh, very nice Canon. There you go. And I did wonder was there any chance of the tripod mount fitting that? And I don't think I can do this one handed. Let's have a look. How is that for a bit of luck? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very neat solution. I do like that. So with a simple um, zip tie loop there to keep the cable out of the way, keep it along the armature, I have a surprisingly flexible um, overhead camera mount. I can go right down to there. I can go up. It's a bit hard to do this with one hand. Um, I can rotate the camera along that pivot point. For the moment I've got it at a right angle to the ground, to the surface here, which is exactly how I want it for filming stuff. Look at that, it's locked in the position. Very cool. So simple. The camera itself has a couple of features which makes it um, suited for this. Like a lot of camcorders it has um, a rotatable screen which means I can do that and frame the shot accordingly. Um, it also has remote control. And this is really useful. That means once I have this positioned and the shot framed um, from that point onwards I can use this to start, stop, zoom and um, well, you can see for yourself a whole load of stuff. Um, without touching anything on that, which means no camera wobble, camera shake, um, changes in um, camera angles. Once that's done, set it up, leave it, and use that. The downside is that base, um, and the fact that I can't rotate this um, um, around that point. Um, what that means is if I want to get a view um, in 16 by 9 format I'll have to have this like that with the camera straight down um, which isn't a major problem but I don't want this on my desk um, I want that up there I have a clamped um, angle poise lamp here, um, which is a broken bulb typically, um, on a similar one for this. So even when I find a clamp version, um, I'll move all this over onto the other one. For now I'll use this and have that up against the wall there, uh, out of the way as much as I can. But eventually I'll get a clamp version and put it on that bar there. But other than that, yeah, this should work. And that's in the final position at the back. And 
control it with that. Cool. Um, and one last advantage of this is that um, it's fairly easy now to do multi-camera angles. If I get both cameras running at the same time, that gives me two streams to switch between. So, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. And just to show some of the zooming, back to camera two. Yeah. No wobble in the camera at all. So there you have it, my um, very simple, flexible overhead camera mount and um, hopefully sort of temporary until I can get a clamp version of the same thing. So until next time, bye for now. I took off the headlamp um, assembly here headlamp, head shell, took off the head shell, lamp shade, get that right. <laughs>